And just like that, we're back on the streets of Dubai with a whole new series. And we're super excited about this one because this time we've been tasked to show you some local legends of Dubai, which is going to take us along to some unmissable spots in the city. Indeed. And after so much time in, I think we all deserve to know some of the best dishes Dubai has to offer. And these 10 renowned places are a huge, huge part of Dubai's multicultural story. These restaurants have surpassed decades and recent obstacles, and there's something timeless about that. Timeless indeed. Guys, these are the places you're going to want to take your family and friends to. All the tourists are going to want to scope them out. And most importantly, they serve up the dishes that will make you ooh and ah. Like that, Dar? But anyway, that's going to come naturally enough, especially at the first place we're at. It's... Not like Calico Paragon! Calica Paragon was opened in Corella way back in 1939 by Governor Pan Kelly, along with his son PM Balsan in Calicut, Corella, India. The popular restaurant's Dubai branch opened its doors in 2005, managed by Govindan's grandson Samesh Govind and his wife Liju. Fifteen years later, it is still recognized as one of Dubai's best and most popular Indian restaurants. And we can vouch for that as Time Out has given it plenty of awards thanks to its delicious budget dishes. Right in the heart of Dubai's curry corridor of Satwa, Karama and Bur Dubai, this brilliant budget restaurant is all about the incredible flavours, with plenty of meat, seafood and vegetarian options to boot. Did you know that Samesh, the owner, actually wanted to be a filmmaker before he was handed the legacy that is Calicut Paragon at just 14 years old? Let's explore how he switched his gears from a filmmaker to managing this legendary restaurant. I actually you know uh, very successful in Kerala, that's in India. And there were a lot of demands from Malus, the Keralites from Dubai, that we want the same food back in Dubai. Dubai is uh, an international stage. So I just want to check whether how I would fare in an international stage like Dubai, a city where you can go to the whole cross section of uh, people across the globe. When it comes to a good restaurant, the first and foremost thing is the ingredients, what you put in. It has to be as fresh as possible. So that is one thing, my basic motto from the start, inspired from my dad and granddad. They always had that in their mind. That's what made us a legendary name back home also. Continuously reinvent yourself. And that keeps you young as well. We have a special ingredient we kind of uh, do over here. Simply called passion. Yeah, <laughs> so that is what makes the whole lot difference. When you're passionate about whatever you do, you really start enjoying it. So that is what I would say the secret ingredient of our success. We have a lot of Bollywood people coming over here. For example, son of the legendary uh, Amitabh Bachchan's son, famous uh, star Abhishek Bachchan himself. Then the Nobel Prize winner for literature, Ofran uh, Pamak then Mehta Patkar, so a lot of celebrities were. Mutton stew we serve from morning uh, breakfast to all the way up to night. It goes great with the appams, which is our best breads, and the Kerala porota. Then we, I will say the prawn dry fry. Slightly spicy, and it complements well with the sweetness of the prawn, along with the spiciness of our Kerala uh, spices. The crab tushar, where it's become very big hit over here. A friend of mine, named Tushar. He was talking about his mom's preparation, how good. I called, I asked my chef to call his mom and they gave the recipe and it turned out to be a big hit over here. So that's kind of it. Kerala food, I would say, has got a global potential because of that marriage between the, the meat and the spices. This is one of the few restaurants in Dubai that encourages you to eat with your hands. And you're very, very excited about this. I'm very <laughs> excited about this, because traditions are traditions, Rima, and you have to abide by these traditions. This is one of the first dishes that I'm going to have. This is the mutton stew, which is made with a whole array of different kinds of spices. I'm going to be trying out the crab tushar. The crab has been roasted with dried coriander and red chili and mixed into this gorgeous broth with coconut, garlic, ginger. I mean, it smells so good. Amazing. Ooh, this is creamy, honestly. But this smells amazing. <laughs> I can't eat it like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it apart like I do with my hands. <laughs> mm. 
Have you ever crap crab before? <laughs> I want to hear your skills. That's amazing. Oh, the broth is delicious. Is it? Mm -hmm. it is insane that this costs that much and also that costs this much. I think this is 42 dirhams and it's such a huge portion. Like you could share this with your friends and the flavors are incredible. Ooh, Ooh I love how like- oh, this spicy. is spicy. Spicy enough. I can take the heat. Mm -hmm. I love it so much. It's so good. We also have the prawn dry fry this for you, but it does smell <laughs> absolutely insanely amazing. What about that, which and also this one smells is amazing? For me. This one is the Calicut chicken dry fry. <sighs> Gonna dig in. So. Me too. <laughs> Enough talking. <laughs> Enough talking. So this is made the Calicut way, and it is definitely a unique piece of chicken compared to the rest of the Why? Chicken. Honestly, it's just so crispy and juicy as well. Extremely tender. The flavor profile is gorgeous. Ooh, this is the grand finale ring. Wow, the piece de resistance. <laughs> so this is one of Calicut Paragon's best-selling dishes come lunchtime. You're never gonna guess the price. It is 15.75, and the dishes are still coming. <laughs> that, traditionally, you start off by putting rice onto your plate and then kind of mixing and matching all the different curries and then just digging in. We'll start with the rice. I think that's a good idea. We'll start with the rice. <laughs> Which one are you going to start with? Lady fingers and some drumsticks. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. That's really good. What one do you have? I don't know how I'm going to eat with cutlery ever again. It's like this is a new experience. <laughs> this is the way. Try this. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, like that's very, so very good. good. That's so try? good. The coconut chutney. Honestly, if I can have pop for the rest of my life, I would. Shame. I love the colors of it and being able to mix whatever you want into the rice and even yeah. adding in the pop -a So if you're feeling adventurous, fancy trying something new, or simply just want to hear that, Ooh. Ah. <laughs> you need to come down to Calicut Paragon. We'll be deep diving into plenty more local legends around Dubai. So be sure to stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell us what you think about the restaurant and you definitely will want to look forward to where we're going to go to next.